of Breach and Clear, a tactical room clearing and close quarters battle simulator that has helped redefine the world of tactics, training and procedures for the special operations world. Students from around the globe are able to immerse themselves in realistic scenarios against a variety of enemies in CQB, Mount and Greenside scenarios, allowing them to adapt and overcome through an intense training regime. Breach and Clear offers on-point feedback from the smallest short room to the largest, multi-angled facilities to firmly establish the mentality that slow is smooth and smooth is fast. To the world of special operations, this is the most advanced training tool available. Stack up and own every angle. Alright guys, so here we are. In. Breach and clear. So, I'm gonna go with... Joint Task Force. Uh... Let me go with SEALs. This guy looks pretty cool. He's got a beard. Choose class. He's going to be the fire team leader. We'll, we'll take Freddie Brown. This guy right here, he's gonna be an intelligence guy. Lance Nielsen, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna have one go right here. A weapon sergeant. Actually, I'm gonna have a breacher, Pete Combs, and this guy right here is gonna be your medic, Will Shepard. Alright, so that's our first time we can actually pull it down. We're gonna do permadeath. Because that's just what we play. So this goes through terrorist tunts, bomb disposal, and escape plans. So you're going into an area, you're breaching, you're clearing obviously, and going through. So you can do another squad if you want to. You can change your loadout. We don't have any optics, anything like that. Uh, face gear, none. Don't have any lights. Don't have any cool stuff like that. Um. Naturally. Naturally, let's use what they have already. Alright. So we're going to go through the tutorial. We'll learn the basics, things like that, and go through it. Never play this game, so. Team, stack up. Okay. Change zoom level. Okay, cool. Right mouse. We do that. Okay, so we are stacked up down here. Consider it done. 
We're gonna breach. Done. Got it. M Done. Moving. God. All right, so that's a successful breach. Continue to my next plan. So we Roger. need to get into cover. Roger. Roger. Cover all Check ways. Okay. Got it. Done. Oh, cool. Yes, sir. Tactically. Roger. Moving. Okay. Done. Oh, cool. So I can go right here. You're gonna concentrate here. When you get here, you're gonna look in there. Yes, sir. You're gonna go over here. When you get here, you're gonna look in this Consider one. Consider it done. You get here, you're gonna check your angle here. When you get here, you're gonna check your angle here. Breach. Stay Moving. sharp. Contact. We're done here. Nice. Okay, cool. So, that is... Alright, so we're going to look at the Breach and Clear videos. Welcome back to another trading installment for Breach and Clear. Today we'll be going over perhaps one of the most effective breaching methods available, the Breaching Charge. Not only will you stun and surprise those on the other side of the room, but all hostiles near the door will be taken out. The Breaching Charge can be acquired in the marketplace and applied through the Breaching menu at the start of each mission. After applying the charge to any and all doors, plan and execute. The explosive should be more than enough to allow you to get to cover helping you to gain a foothold. Be aware though, any remaining enemies will be aware of your presence for the remainder of the mission. Wow. Okay. Catch is the Breacher's ultimate ability, affording him the opportunity to deploy two grenades in a single turn. Only available to the highest level Breacher, the ability allows for an incredibly effective one-two punch against enemy forces. It is up to the Breacher on whether they would like to deploy frag grenades, flashbangs, or a mixture of the two. Bear in mind though, grenades must already be in the Breacher's inventory to use effectively, and the Breacher will remain in their position for the duration of the action. I have a feeling this is going to get fucking intense. The Door Wedge gives the team an advantage by adding further control of movement for the immediate area of operations. Deployed by the intelligence officer, the door wedge will automatically reveal all doors in range that are able to be shut tight. This wedge will block any and all access for enemy units, halting potential flanking opportunities. The wedge is automatically removed should a teammate wish to proceed past the door. Okay. The first shot skill immediately sharpens the abilities of a shooter by placing them on a heightened state of alert. First shot gives a seasoned direct action class teammate the chance to fire at an enemy before they even have a chance to react. 
This ensures a quick kill in potentially any hazardous situation. This one-time use permission ability is essential when making a risky breach, as it can quickly and efficiently put an enemy down while the rest of the team handles to other tasks. Specializing in reconnaissance and sabotage, the intelligence officer is able to bring his ultimate ability out at his highest level. Turning into a veritable ghost, the intelligence teammate can sneak past enemy strong points without fear of being detected. This ability is incredibly effective in a tight situation or when facing down an emplaced enemy. Only able to be used once per mission, the ghost ability can get your teammate into areas without fear of being attacked. While in ghost mode, the intelligence officer is unable to fire. That is pretty cool. Okay. The medic in Special Operations is not only well-versed at acute trauma care, but is also able to bring a shooter back to his feet with minimal supplies. The regeneration ability is the ultimate in medical assistance out in the field. This gives the medic the ability to rapidly heal without the use of a med pack back to 100%. This one-time use ability can free up a med pack, which can then be used to boost the fighting dexterity of the team by a large factor. The direct action teammate is well versed at indoor and close quarters fighting, having honed their skills after years of training. This training is culminated in the sprint ability, allowing a direct action squad member to move at an incredible pace. Sprint can be used in a variety of ways, either to get a flanking position quickly, or to exfil out of an area in an effort to minimize the risk of being brought down by enemy fire. Sprint can be used multiple times during a mission, allowing the team to set up hasty ambushes with relative ease. The medic on any special operations team is tasked with securing and stabilizing teammates brought down by enemy action. The stabilizability grants the medic the opportunity to help any teammate taken out of the fight. The medic will need to stand close to their fallen teammate and use an equipped med pack during the planning phase. A med pack icon will hover over any affected teammate. Simply select the squad mate and bring them back into the fight. Be warned though, that teammate is still heavily wounded and will not perform to their peak unless more med packs are applied. Wow, this is intense. The weapon sergeant is able to provide cover fire for the rest of the team, thanks in part to the suppression ability. While suppression is only effective at keeping enemies pinned, the ability becomes more effective as the weapon sergeant becomes more experienced. Any and all enemies within the line of sight for the ability will immediately seek cover, potentially taking hits in the process. This ability allows the rest of the team to move to covering and flanking positions without being shot at. Keep in mind, teammates cannot maneuver down the path of suppression. Wow, okay. Surprise is the ultimate expression of the weapon sergeant's ability with firearms, allowing him to reliably target enemies through nearby walls. Any enemies already revealed, even those with a wall standing between them and the team, are subject to the decimating fire of the surprise ability. This one-time use per mission skill is not guaranteed to bring an enemy down for good, but it can put some serious hurt on the enemy without ever exposing your team to danger. Alright, that's cool. Whoops. Perhaps one of the most useful abilities for any new team starting out, Throw and Go, available only to the Breacher, gives the teammate a chance to deploy a distractionary device or frag grenade and then move all in the same turn. This ability can be quite useful when taking on emplaced enemies within rooms, giving the Breacher a chance to stun or kill before putting themselves in danger. The Breacher simply selects where they wish to throw their explosive and then choose where they wish to move, all taking place within the same turn. Wow, okay, cool. The UAV, or Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, is an incredibly powerful tool on the modern battlefield. 
It affords military strategists a means of surveillance and strike capabilities. The UAV offers special operations real-time highlighting of any and all threats in the mission space. UAVs can be acquired in the marketplace and deployed during the mission select menu screen. After starting the mission, the UAV will automatically begin a sweep of the area, revealing all hostiles. UAV can be particularly useful at higher levels when used in conjunction with breaching charges. Holy mother of god! How do you even get through that mission? <laughs> Alright! We're gonna play this on normal! <laughs> And so we're gonna go through this. We don't have any UAVs. American FDM Business Center with the intent to destroy it. Secure a foothold within the building. Okay. We're going to breach. Don't has two doors. Let the fan out. Let the fan out this way. I need to fan out towards that way. On the other hand, I hit this one. I fan out left, I fan out right, I have open. I've opened. Oh, okay. Can I should I breach at the same time? So traditionally breaching should be one, two, three. Actually it's probably better to do this one. One, two, three. And then four, clear out this way. Then go through this, breach this way, breach this way, and breach simultaneously. And no, because I started doing crossfire. So yeah, B is the best one to breach first, probably. Team stack up. All right. Roger. You're the throne, go. Oh, damn, actually, I'm not able to do that just because of the sole fact that. Unload everything. Okay, you're going to come in here. Oh. Shepard. You're going to come here. Stop it. Your entire purpose is here. You're going to hit here. Here. Seriously, you're gonna come here, come here, and you have the back side of the door. Consider it done. Combs, you're gonna come in. Yeah, this. Nope. 
Damn it. Yeah, this back corner. You first come in. Check your fire here. Check your fire here. Check your fire here. On it. Nielsen. You're gonna be you're you're gonna come here. You're gonna when you get here. Well, when you get here, you're gonna check your fire here. And check your fire here. Done. Brown. You're gonna come here. When you get here, you're gonna check the fire here. When you get here, you're gonna check your fire here. All right, let's do it. And breach. Said Combs took some probably friendly fire there. Okay, Shepard, your entire point is here. When you first come in here, no, your first check is here. Your second check is here. Your third check is actually not the damn door. Nope. Your check is here. First check here. Second check here. Third check here. Stay sharp. Combs. I'll yes, worry sir. about you in a minute. You're going to come here. Actually, you're not going to come here. You're going to come here. Your first check is going to be here. Your second check is going to be here. Got it. Now Combs. This this damn room. Okay. Your first check is here. Second check here. Third check here. On it. Roger. You're gonna be Actually, you're going to be here. This means your first check is going to be here. Your second check is going to be here. Let's do this. Alright. So we have two enemies in here. Got it. Consider it done. Flashbang. Done. On it. Thing is, your next step is here. Actually, this should prove as a distraction. So your next step is breach here. First step is here. Next step is here. Next step is here. Yes, sir. You're going to come in here. Your first check will be this enemy. Your second check will be here. Roger. Consider it done. Your third check will be here. Your first check again will be here. Your third, second check will be here. Let's do it. Moving. Area is clear. Got it. I kind of accidentally hit him with the, uh, with it. One wounded, got some XP. Got a lot of money. 
Damn, Freddie Brown's gonna boss over here. So we're gonna continue. Oh yeah, just distribute it. Here. Biggest thing is accuracy. Remember, slow is fast, fast is smooth. Okay, team is ready. Team, stack up. Okay, so this one, this one's gonna be. Bitch, I can tell this. You're here. Your first check across the room. Second check across the room. Third one, clear out this. Fourth one is to check this. On it. You good, sir. Clear out here. And your check will again be this actually, unlikely. First check here, this way. Second check, here. Third check, here. Fourth check, is good. Yes, sir. Nielsen, you're gonna stack up here. You're gonna go here. Your second check is still gonna be here. That's gonna be it. On it. Brown, well, you're going to stack up here. Check you. your corners. Contact. I took a little fire by Shepard, but we're good. Consider it done. Okay, let's get good angles. Here. Let's then clear the rest of the room. On it. Shepard, you're gonna go here. You're gonna clear this. You're gonna come here. You're gonna clear this. Done. We're going to come here and clear this. Bridge. Got it. Got it. Stay Moving. Sharp. Contact. Done. Got it. When you first enter, check that corner. When you enter here, go here. When you enter here, check that corner. On it. Done. Roger. Brown, you're gonna come here. When you first come in, you're going to make sure you check that corner. And then when you come here, you're gonna check that corner. Yes, sir. Here. Flashbang. Right here. Yes, sir. Consider it done. Now 
Actually, Gosh. which one is still on the flashbang? Consider it done. Combs, you're gonna throw and go. Flashbang. Again, here. After this. You're gonna go here. And you're gonna start hitting. Go. Sure. Flashbang. Yeah. Flashbang out. We're done here. Got him, coach. Three out of four there. Biggest thing is accuracy. Sweet. A new park. Sweet, that's good too. Increase grenade damage. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. In the next episode, we will launch into Mission 3, Operation Cold Saber, and we might actually look at the marketplace. So I will see you guys next time. Later.